Hey guys, Lance Archer here. Welcome back to the channel. It's another Destiny video. It's Friday. It's reset day. Reset day. It's Zer day, I should say, and it's that time for reset. Uh, so we're just waiting for the milestones to activate and change, so we know where Zer will be. So just giving a couple of minutes. So where should he be this time round? I wonder. So just a heads up: the dawning is a, uh, is finishing it next Tuesday, I believe. Um, so this is the last of the, the dawning, so Mayhem will obviously be finishing this week. Bungie put out a statement, I believe it was yesterday, stating about the uh, what was happening in Mayhem and those who had been exploiting the Nova Bomb glitch would not be punished. So some people were a little bit miffed about it when they heard. I personally think it's just something that you know happens. It is something they, they didn't take into account. And if people used it and abused it, that's that was their choice. There were there were ways around the Nova Bomb glitch, so you know you you can't sit there and be like, oh, I got killed by the guy who just constantly Nova Bombed me. Play another class that can kill it. There are other ways to beat a Nova Bomber, it, the, the, especially the infinite Nova Bomb. You could go around it so easily. I I came across a few that did it, but there are ways you can actually beat it. What's taking so long? Why is it not happening yet? Right. What's going on? Oh, let's just check the planets. Uh, he was on the rig last week, I think he was. How was he? Nothing here. No, he was not. Where was he? He was on Isle last week, I believe. Where the fudge? This is what it be on Mercury. Come on, team. There we go. That was a lot later than I thought it'd be. Alright, there was that time he was in the tower, so let's just, just double check in case. Uh, seems that they haven't changed anything yet, come on. Alright, we'll wait for all the milestones to pop up and then we'll go find him. But everyone's had a great week, I hope everyone had a great New Year's. I had a great New Year's. It's kind of chilled, I think most people now have a chilled New Year's Eve into a New Year's Day. Um, but yeah, I think this is the week that most people back to work and so forth, but Oh, yeah back to work for some people I suppose Come on There was a milestone taking someone to like four. I had the trials of Osiris thing kicking already Look, this is here on reset Where's the rest? Oi Zuh where you at, homie? Come on. What are you going to bring us at the start of 2018? Oh, there you go. Giant Scar. Aha! Alright, so our boy's on Nessus at the Giant Scar. Let's go see what he's got. There, see, now the Master's figure want to load up. Complete the Dawning Gift and deliver to a lucky recipient. I've given up on the Dawning stuff. I know the sword is really, really rare to get for the Dawning, but I just couldn't bother to go get it. Some of them were just pointless at this at, the, at this point now. I was like, eh, it's fine. Someone's had it. My brother got it. I was like, yeah, it looks okay. What's it do? Nothing really. Actually, I don't know what it does. I don't know there's anything special about the Dawning Sword. Just looks cool, I suppose. That's about it. My main thing now for Destiny is to grab the Nile Calamity 9. So for those of you who know obviously what it is, it's the, crow, it's, the, it's the Curse of Osiris new weapons. So I, it's one of the verses obviously, if you complete all the verses you can, do, you can get obviously the perfect paradox with the shotgun which is verse 11 and then you get the uh, the Segura shell which I'm looking forward to getting. So I need to finish all the verses. Just let me get a vehicle damn it. Alright, let's uh, move on over. Let's go see what he's got out. And I'll get my fate engram and we'll see what we've got. Well, what we haven't got, I should say. Oh, big homie. Well, yo, sir, what you got, buddy? Right. These are from the nine. Zer has for us this week. Merciless, the fusion rifle, dropping at 305. If you have 335, this will be the max it will be for you. So think of it, this was the, mm, the fusion rifle that essentially is the version, this D2's version of the Galahorn. So definitely pick it up if you have not got it. It is definitely a must have weapon if you're raiding as such. So definitely go for that. Next we have the Young Amhunkara Spines. The, the Gauntlets from D1 return as they have done. These obviously got the thing where they increase the trip mine duration. So it's called Wish Dragon Teeth. 
increase the trip man du grenade duration and marks enemies damaged by the blast so this is obviously a new addition there uh, obviously with the marking of enemies so obviously grab these if you're a hunter pick these up if you love using your trip mines you know and then next we have mask of the quiet one uh this is the titan new helmet for d2 uh dreaded visage grants melee grenade and class ability energy when damaged Void ability kills grant health regen. There you go. It's not a bad one for this uh, for this Titan helm. This is the new one, obviously for D two, and uh, this is the uh, Warlock one, Wings of the Sacred Dawn. These are the ones that you would have got, I think, at the very beginning of D of playing the story mode. So get this. Obviously, it's a three or five version. When Dawnblade is equipped, aiming your weapons while in midair suspends you for a short time. Precision hits extend the effects duration. This essentially is the Angel Light perk that you could have got back in D one. So this is just an intrinsic one on this chest piece. It's still a nice exotic for the warlock. I think you know, my only problem is that it's the uh, it just looks weird. It just it's just weird when you're floating in the air trying to throw it and you you know your your dawn blade and you're just standing there. It's like oh great, you're now a giant target. Like I saw a load of people use it in mayhem, just made them a massive freaking target. If you're going to be using a dawn blade with a warlock, you definitely don't want this on. Definitely don't want it on. All right, my fated engram. What do you give me? I choose you. Oh shit. Pow. And I get ooh, that's a new one. All right, I don't actually have this. Yeah, so so far I've been three for three now, four for four. Well, essentially every fated engram I've got has given me something I do not have. So this is the Vespers of Radius, a new DT Warlock chest piece. Uh, it's called Planetary Torrent. Rift releases an arc shockwave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when they are surrounded by enemies. That doesn't actually sound too bad. Hmm, good doing the on the colour scheme though. This has got arc grenades attached to it. Oh, that's not too bad. Could do with a I'm more doubt for arc cast abilities, just because you want that rift to be charging quicker. Or even quicker, but damn, that doesn't look too bad actually. Hmm. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three for three, I think, on the app. On the, uh, on the cast stuff that I haven't got. And then lastly, we have obviously the Three of Coins. So for 2018, so it has some pretty decent stuff. I got something good out of it, so I'm not complaining. So remember, Fated Engrams are only once per account. So you can only grab it. Make sure if you're going to use it, you do it on a character that you've got majority of stuff so you don't get doubles. There was a video I saw of someone who came down here to Caesar, I think two weeks ago. There was a pair of hunter boots that he wanted. I think it was the new set of boots that was sell. No, it was a pair of boots that the hunters are ready to sell. I think it was Lucky Pants. Um, he hadn't bought them. And he immediately went and picked up his fated engram. And what did he get? Lucky Pants. Got it twice. Because he didn't buy it beforehand. So he obviously took into account things that he didn't have. And he was like, boom, here you go, son. But yeah, don't do that mistake. Grab any of these if you don't have them, guys. Um, and then obviously, if you've got any of these already, then pick up your fated engram. Um, but that's it for Zer this week. Not a lot, but just remember he is on. He's on IO, beg your pardon, not necessarily. He's on IO by the giant scar inside the little cave at where we are here. Ooh, chest. Okay, that was good. Um, Alright, guys. Oh, he's got the Jade Rabbit. I want the Jade Rabbit. But anyway. That's it for Zerf for this week. Uh, remember, dawning ends next Tuesday. Hopefully, when with all the Bungie employees back, I think this week or beginning of next week, we might get some something like it's to, just to know where it's what's happening with D two in the future. Just because, as fun as like as fun as D two is, there is very little to do in it now. And you know, if for those of you who are just doing it for the grind of collecting stuff, then I'm pretty sure at some point you're going to come to a point where you've just run out of stuff to do, and you know. As far as I'm aware, Trials of the Nine isn't really cooking people anymore. Guys that I knew were very hardcore in Trials of the Nine have essentially gone off it. There's just there's just no one around. So hopefully we get something for D2 to make everyone come back to it. Just because this is such a great game. The community around it is really great. And we just need more things to do. You know, It's just one of those things where it's sad that it's in the state currently right now. But we just need more stuff to do. But yeah, guys, don't forget to favorite, like, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it, thumbs up it. You do all the social media things, you know what you need to do. Uh, don't forget, uh, end of the card will have my Twitch address, so I am streaming at that uh, web address. So don't forget to stop by, say hey, throw a follow down if you would like to. Um, I made it to affiliate, so you know I'm now officially a streamer, and I do take subs and donos and stuff like that. So. 
guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day enjoy the rest of your weekend take care have a great one and i will see you all in the next video see you later bye bye